go ahead and show you guys a few things hi guys welcome back to my channel today is South chat and I am here to talk to you guys about what to wear for Thanksgiving I know you probably haven't even thought about it at all but you might be thinking about it now since I brought it up right and this is one of those rush outfits that you end up thinking oh my gosh I do kind of have to look kind of cute right but I want to be comfy it's Thanksgiving I just ate I'm tired I take naps all day me I need to wear the most comfortable thing possible because I know I'm gonna eat everything and I'm gonna go to sleep while the game is on because I don't even know what's happening I don't understand football also if you have not subscribed to this channel make sure to subscribe down there below um, there's a little button if it's red you have not subscribed so make sure to click on that button so that way you can subscribe you can also get notifications click that little bell there and it will let you know every time I release a new video on YouTube I am so excited today to give you guys some outfit ideas to wear for Thanksgiving I have three rules three things that I think of when I'm getting ready to go to Thanksgiving or a big dinner. Number one, it's gotta be pooch friendly, okay? It's gotta be pooch friendly because at the end of the day, I'm gonna eat a lot and I wanna be able to be free in my outfit when I'm sitting down, standing up, dancing around, walking around. I don't, I don't wanna have to be sucking in the entire time. But anyway, so it's gotta be pooch friendly. It has to be family appropriate. Um, I'm not gonna walk into my dinner party unless it's a Friendsgiving or it's like a date Thanksgiving. Um, it has to be family appropriate. A lot of times Thanksgiving is that opening opportunity to meet uh, a, a significant other's family, a friend's family, and you want to make sure that you are respectful. And so you got to make sure that your outfit is family appropriate. So pooch friendly, family appropriate, and also you don't want to sacrifice your frame. You don't want to get rid of your frame. So there, I have some rules and things I can show you guys on how to not sacrifice your frame with these outfits. You can still wear baggy items, but by just changing a few things, it will still look, you know, feminine or uh, form-fitting or still cute. Those are my three rules. You got to be pooch friendly, you have to be family appropriate, and also you have to be frame ready. I don't know. Your frame's got to be right, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the outfits. The first outfit that I have is the one I'm wearing today. The one I'm wearing, I just got done filming these outfits for you guys and I decided to keep this one on for the video because I do love this scarf. But the first item and also uh, pooch friendly, family appropriate, and also frame loving outfit is a sweater dress, you guys. A sweater dress goes a long way in your closet, especially if you find the perfect one that you can wear to work, school, church, everywhere. This particular sweater dress is amazing. Number one, it's a very neutral color. It's gray. Number two, it's midi. It's below the knee. And also number three, it's a long sleeve. And I love that. It's not a turtleneck, so I can play around with scarves with this outfit. Um, what I also did with this outfit is I paired it with a really cute boyfriend jacket, boyfriend jean jacket. And I thought it added a little bit more edge to the outfit, a little bit more trend to now and kind of updating the sweater dress for 2016. By adding this oversized jacket, it adds a little bit of edge and grunge to it, but also the classiness of the dress underneath. I just love that mix, that mix between classy and then also that edge with the jacket. This next outfit is going to be more of a casual outfit. If you are a jeans girl, this is going to work perfectly for you. I paired this with my Zara really, really, really stretchy jeans, um, which are very pooch friendly, family friendly, and also a frame friendly. And then I also paired it with the, the star of the show, which is a turtleneck uh, a short sleeve sweater. And I actually thrifted this and I put this in my uh, fall, my October favorites, but it's an amazing sweater. It zips in the back, but it's really pooch friendly. And then finally, the third layer, which I have a third layer rule when it comes to styling. That last piece is of course my olive green jacket from Banana Republic. I love this jacket, it's a great deal, but also it's so versatile. There's so many ways that I can wear it and so many ways that I can put it together uh, in different outfits and it works perfectly with this on a cool uh, fall night to go out for dinner. Finally, the last outfit that I have 
is a very very comfy outfit now this outfit is all me all the way this is how I do it when it comes to Thanksgiving because my family really just chills the entire day we just relax we don't even eat until like four or five like we just chill we cook and chill and talk and chill and so this is a perfect outfit I paired this amazing sweatshirt that actually belongs to my husband but I've been wearing it it's uh, good vibes all the way perfect for the climate right now social climate and I love that um, it's black and white it's from H&M and then we cut off the sleeves to make it a little bit more trendy so I love that also paired it with my leggings that split down um, on my knees which makes it super super trendy and adds that extra 2016 look to it finally I paired it with my Nike black Roshi runs to add that sleek all black look underneath now um, this is very obviously very very pooch friendly very very pooch friendly because the leggings are high waisted and also the sweater hides everything but you don't want that whole sweater to take your entire like shape so that's why I paired it with leggings instead of something wider on the bottom also this is going to be great for the sweatshirt trend that's out right now sweatshirts are major 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 this fall and so make sure to take advantage of that and then finally if I want I can if I am super cold I can also pair it with my boyfriend jean jacket on on top and then to add a little bit of flair and some love is also my baseball cap from H&M my leather black baseball cap from H&M love this hat it's a great and hat and it's gonna be amazing for this outfit all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and love the outfit make sure to ask all your questions down below and let me know what you guys think and which one is your favorite outfit love you guys so much thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week Come on.